You can let it now, bro. You think it's what it's me. me. <laughs> Poppin' shit, you would think I went to school for power break. Looking good as hell today, just sit my nigga Bobby Tessis. Yo, now I really sound like that. Y'all know that shit weird, but weird. Hey, I love Glorilla. Glorilla, I'll pull up to the hood listening to Glorilla. Not pull up to the hood. Alright, y'all ready? Let's go, let's do it. Alright. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's your girl, Lauren, and welcome back to the podcast. I got three of my friends here. My name's Sarah. My name is Shanae. You know, it's Big Grizz, a.k.a. Courtney Jones. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about how I think it's funny how we're in the same cycle. Ooh. Yeah, deep. Elaborate on that. So, like, we're all in college. We all been through relationships, been through drama, this, that, and the third. Why do we stay in the same situations or go to the next relationship carrying the same baggage, basically? I feel like most of the time we're scared to take accountability that we messed up or, like, it's two sides to every situation. <clears throat> so I feel like it's more comfortable to deny the fact that you made a mistake and place it on somebody else and just move on from that and think that the same thing's not going to happen when in reality that's literally how it works. Until you wake up and decide to, like, change, shift your reality, you're going to be living in the same miserable life that you've been living i feel like i agree but we all victimize ourselves we all want to play victim we all want to be that person that got hurt so we could go spread and slander that other person and say oh they're the bad person they did this in actuality we was probably the monster and we don't want to really see that but i feel like hmm you, yeah, there is two sides to every story, but at the same time, you need to, it's like, I don't know, you got to be coherent with everything, and um, it's about how, it's the perspective on things, too, because it's two sides to every story, but it's your story to tell the who, why are you even letting it get out there for somebody else to hear it, and then that also causes a lot of clash when it's outside things coming into that. And then that's what carries on to the next one. So that's how I feel we stuck in that cycle. What was I about to say? I was about to say, basically, it's like sometimes we feel like since we're so used to something, we're too scared of change. So we like do what we would normally do. But sometimes you have to change your reality. Yeah, I'm gonna confirm what y'all said. Court, I agree with what you said. That is is definitely two sides to every situation. And like you really don't gotta explain nothing to nobody about what happened. It was between you and your significant other. Like what went down, what went down. That's between y'all two. So you really ain't gotta explain nothing to nobody. And the comfort zone part, I'm gonna pinpoint because that's definitely me. Like I stick to what I know. And if it's something different, I don't like sharing or talking about certain stuff if I'm outside my comfort zone. So, like, once you're outside that space, it's like you shut down, basically, and you don't know how to get up out of it. And then the other person might think you're hiding stuff or you're secretive or you're doing something behind the back, but in reality, you just don't know how to express nothing. I feel like that's kind of, like, what being scared and not being comfortable with getting outside of yourself essentially is what keeps you in that same cycle. I feel like it's different for me. I feel like me being in the same environment and the same thing keeps me in that cycle. <laughs> but when I venture off and branch into, like, more, like, different people and things like that, that's where I, like, I let go and I just, like, okay, I'm good. I didn't know how to speak over time. <laughs> <laughs> so, from personal experience, do you feel like in the past you played victim too much? 
Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> One thing about me. <laughs> hey. Until I learned what accountability was, I felt like everybody did me wrong and, oh, what was me? But in reality, I'm able to admit that I was the bad guy 85% of the time just because I was dodging accountability that bad. And I'm not scared to say it because that's just not me no more. With me, I did things. I know I did. I took accountability. But then it will be minor things to me and probably be major things to the other person. <laughs> But when, like, they overstep and do some outlandish shit, that's when I just took, like, I took it and ran with them. Like, oh, yeah, I can. So I'm like, I don't feel guilty of what I actually did, the little shit I did, because that shit would overpower all the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you good, you good, you good. Oh, I'm cursing on them. Oh, cur- <laughs> so, yeah, like, I really, like, it was, that's how, that's, like, yeah. I, that's how I feel like I was playing victim. I knew I was. I knew I did something wrong, but they did something even crazier. So now I got the chance to say, "Oh, they're the bad guy." And then I also let some more recent ones, relationships, stuff like that. I let other people like get into it, or they had their input because th- certain things was out there, and it was just too much outside sources. So that also caused a lot of clash. And things like that. So, yeah. I could say I definitely, like, agree with you on that. I would I would often, you know, try to make them feel like the bad guy, even though I knew sometimes I was wrong, but they would do way worse than me. So I would. But now I know how to play victim sometimes. I feel that. I like playing victim, though. <laughs> I do. I ain't going to hold you. But with the, I'm going to just, with my first love, whatever, we, we went through some stuff. Like, it was bad. But at the same time, I always blamed him. Because he really did. He he jacked everything up. I ain't going to hold you. He did it. But I take accountability because I didn't see the signs when they were, like, seriously right in front of me. <coughs> like, I was just oblivious because, like, I really loved him. And I was like, nah. And then when everything hit the fan, everybody and their mama in my ear telling me what I should do what I shouldn't do, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, I just don't have a voice for myself, so I'm listening to everybody else's stuff and what they predict what I should do, but really I should just listen to myself. The most at peace I've ever felt in my life, I feel like, was when I purposefully didn't seek out other people's opinions because too much noise, it just, I, I start feeling confused and I know I can't I can't do anything when I'm confused. I really like I'm at the point in my life where I value clarity in a lot of aspects of my life because you're not about to, you're confused and you about to have me the same way and I don't need that. That's what I need to find is clarity. I still ain't find that yet. It's not easy. Nah. Uh, I I found clarity, but it's like still bullshit happening in life. And I it's mean, like that's life though. Like it's never going. Nah, be. it's honestly with me. I've been trying to be a people pleaser and try to be nice to everybody, and then people be like, "Oh, take me for what it is and do weird stuff or act weird," and then I just be like, "Whatever, let me." Or I would try to, I be trying to make time for everybody and don't have time for myself, and then I'm stressing out for myself. So when. When do y'all get to that? When do y'all know y'all at that point where y'all just like, I don't care. I'm just myself. Don't care about nothing else. Sometimes I feel like that when I don't get the same in return. Mm -hmm. Because I can't say I also am like a people pleaser. But if I don't feel like, you know, the same way I'm treating them is how y'all are treating me, then I'm just bag up. I feel like I'm a recovering people pleaser. Like, I'm still in that recovery period because I had to, I had, like, when, when you continuously make time for other people and they don't make time for yourself, now you're sitting here wondering, okay, like, what am I supposed to do? And that's essentially how you lose yourself. You lose yourself in trying to help other people because you want to see them happy because sometimes making other people feel good make you feel good, but then it's just like, I feel like, it, I don't know, like, it's very easy for me to get to that point where I'm just like, I don't care no more. I have to worry about me because I know if I'm not right, everybody else is going to feel that. And unfortunately, I don't like, like, the way that I am, but my mad, like, my negative emotions really radiate just as 
as much as my positive emotions radiate. So I'd be I'd be looking out for myself, but I really is, am looking out for y'all too. Cause mm-mm. I agree with that. Like I'm definitely a people pleaser, or was, but then I started saying the phrase "the phone works two ways." Yeah, definitely. Like if if you need something from me, I'm there for you. But like when I try to reach out for you and you rush me off or be like I'm busy or come up with excuses back to back to back, I'm just like, what's the point? But yeah, I'm still there for you when you need. So once I start, like, saying the phone works two ways, then it start easing up. And, like, if I need them, they'll show up. And if not, they don't. Any last add-ons? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and talking with me today. Of course, of course, of course. (laughs) Hmm? You're now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of the podcast. Thank you so much for listening.